Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to be doing your weekly reading from June 17th to June 23rd um, for your sign Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising to see what's up with you guys this week and what messages could be useful for you. So I'm using today the Enchanted Tarot, the ginormous version, as you can see. <laughs> and I'm going to be pulling several cards and kind of just flowing through the reading to see what is relevant. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for the support and for watching. And if you're new to my channel, I invite you to join us. You can go ahead and click on the little golden tippy on this corner of the video in order to become a subscriber. Or you can use a regular button if you don't find the tippy. <laughs> okay, so what is in store universe for Scorpios this week? Scorpios. Ooh, the sun. Well, well. So it seems that you're going to have a lovely, wonderful, filled with clarity week. We have here the Ace of Wands. Beautiful, passionate, fiery cards. We got the world. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. Lots of work. Focused, pleasant work. Wheel of Fortune. Guys, this is an amazing reading. Got the Prince of Wands. And last card, the Seven of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful energies for my lovely Scorpios. Let's begin. Okay, so this week, definitely it seems like you're going to be enjoying yourself it seems like it's going to be a very positive week for you with the sun card it's almost like an automatic yes it's going to be a positive week card <laughs> for me um there might be a lot of clarity coming in as well so not only joy and happiness that are characteristic from the sun card but also um a sense of clarity and, a, and an ability to see things in a new light with the Ace of Wands here, it seems to me like this week you're going to be maybe receiving an important um, confirmation from the universe, maybe a synchronicity, maybe a sign that you are on the right path in something that you're doing that is new or it's like something that you're starting to pursue that makes you feel very passionate and excited. So that which makes you feel very moved inside, makes you feel happy, joyful blissful that is what you should probably um pursue right now even if your logical mind tells you otherwise go after that which makes you feel that way and with the world here it does seem like with this new beginning there are some things that you're going to be kind of like wrapping up and they could be related to institutions uh, maybe degrees maybe banks maybe schools maybe i don't know this building here um, is screaming institution for me right now. Um, and it feels to me like you're gonna be wrapping some things up in order to start some new things, but that might actually take a lot of work. Like wrapping some cycles up could involve like lots of focused, diligent um, effort. With the Eight of Pentacles here, it seems to me like you're going to have to really, really commit yourself to finishing certain things that maybe you have agreed on in the past, maybe past commitments and things like that. It seems to me like you are definitely going to be successful at this, but it's going to require a push and an effort. And it's going to require this week um, that you tap into that inner fire and that energy within you in order to be able to have the stamina to make these transitions. After that happens, I feel like you're going to be in a different ground, in a different land. Once you close those cycles, it's like only then you'll have the perspective that you will have in order to go forward and see what you want to do. Like it's, I can't, I don't, I don't feel like you can access the perspective that you're going to have right now. You need to wrap those things up in order to move forward and only then you're going to kind of like feel like wow okay so these are my options so these is this is what i can actually um go ahead and do with the wheel of fortune you're going to be feeling very supported by the universe 
you're going to be feeling very um, kind of like guided and you can see the intentions of the universe behind the things that happen so it's kind of like you observing your life and saying that makes total sense you know like i understand now why the universe made that happen because only that way could this other thing appear and you're gonna kind of see through it and be very grateful with the prince of wands here some of you guys could be dealing with um fire signs that could be an aries a leo or a sag if that's the case um some of you guys are going to be maybe contemplating possibilities with this person contemplating the future with this person but there might not be like the complete picture shown already <laughs> sorry <laughs> there is a possibility that you can't see the whole thing and that you feel a little bit confused in regards to what this person is able to provide for you and what this person is um, representing in your life so kind of like play by ear allow the clarity of the sun to illuminate everything this week and just focus on yourself focus on finishing the things that you need to finish because only then you will be able to um, have like a renewed sense of power that is going to allow you to move forward in a better way like you won't get there, you won't get that feeling until you wrap up everything that needs to be wrapped up, okay? I'm going to be pulling one additional message for you guys from the Crystal Tarot to see what is the ideal message that our beautiful Scorpios need to focus on this week. Send us the ideal card universe. Okay, here we go. Ten of Pentacles. Yay! I celebrate everything I achieve. So it's not only about wrapping up things, it's not only about closing cycles, it's also about celebrating the fact that you are capable and able of reaching this point of your life. So make sure that you don't only go through the motions and finish, make sure that you celebrate every step of the way as well. That is going to also propel you forward with a very positive energy, Scorpio. So that makes me really happy. I hope that you have a lovely week ahead. Um, please make sure to check the description box below. Make sure to um, be subscribed to my channel for you to receive all of my weekly readings, the monthly readings as well. That way they're all gonna pop in your feed. Um, what else? And yeah, just thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for sharing this time with me. I'm sending so much love your way, Scorpios, and I hope that you have a lovely, lovely time this week ahead.